Hello everybody, Sun Long Idol here. In the last video, I was talking about Kung Flu, I mean COVID-19. But Kung Flu is a way cooler name and why Donald Trump is such an obese president. He knows his way to play with words. Anyway, I've shown you how my prediction is becoming a reality in that video. Maybe I will make another one here. But first, let's continue where we left last time. In this regard, we have to praise the success of our country, Vietnam, in the fight against this deadly virus which came from our next door neighbor and which is tearing the world apart. In contrast to Vietnam and a handful of other nations, the world is reeling in the grasp of COVID-19. It has caused global social and economic disruption, including the largest global recession since the Great Depression in the 30s of the last centuries. In February and March, there were crashes of the world stock markets, and in April, the WTI crude oil fell to minus $37.63, signaling the first time in history when you can gain money when buying oil. The unprecedented decline of transportation, travel, and tourism as a result of COVID-19 lockdowns is so significant it even has a name a new word just to describe the situation Anthropos Anthropos doesn't only weigh down on gas price but also has effects on the environment and the climate Air pollution and water pollution dropped on a global scale For example, in Wuhan there was a 25% reduction in carbon emissions But those of you who, like me, care about the environment don't rejoice just yet, because that's only one side of the picture. The outbreak also provided cover for illegal activities such as deforestation of the Amazon rainforest and poaching in Africa, heightened environmental diplomacy efforts, and created economic fallout that some predict will slow investment in green energy technologies. So, for the long term, it's still unclear. What's more, aside from the air that you breathe and the gasoline that you fill your bike, Kung Flu is still affecting every single person in the world's 7.8 billion in various ways. For example, did you know that the spread of sexually transmitted infections, including HIV AIDS, is markedly reduced because of all of those quarantines and social distancing measures? Also, for that reason, Rates of transmission of influenza and other respiratory viruses significantly decreased. Therefore, we can say that Kung Flu is ironically bad news for other flu viruses. If that's not weird enough, how about this surprise? COVID-19 is also bad news for drug cartels. If you have researched into a substance named methamphetamine, or you simply have watched Breaking Bad, a very popular TV show. You know that methamphetamine, or meth for short, is a drug that doesn't exist in nature and must be synthesized. Let's talk about meth for a bit. The substance is a pretty modern drug, appearing for the first time in 1893, which was only one fourth of a century before the Great Spanish Flu. It was discovered by a Japanese chemist, Nagai Nagajoshi. Well, just like Jiu-Jitsu, many things originated from Japan, meth included. But the involvement with the Sunrise Island likely stopped there. While Jiu-Jitsu was inherited by Brazilians, meth was popularized by none other than the Nazis. See, when Hitler came to power, he wanted to build a great nation based on conquest. And the Fuhrer had very high demand on the German military the Wehrmacht. Just before World War II, German scientists had come to a conclusion that methamphetamine can increase stamina and induce extended wakefulness, two very desired traits in every soldier. The German high command was impressed by this fighting, especially Hermann Goering. As the leader of the Air Force, Hermann Goering made a decree that all of his pilots were to receive daily doses of meth to increase their ability. Because he was an addict himself, 
meth became so popular between the pilots that it was nicknamed Stuka Tablet after a very successful dive bomber aircraft. And from the Luftwaffe, it spread out into the whole Wehrmacht. After the war, Hadith soldiers helped introduce meth to the world. Okay, so what does Kung Flu have to do with meth? This drug is synthesized from precursors such as cold pills. The treatment of SARS-CoV-2 requires a lot of medicine and that creates a shortage of raw material used in the manufacturing of meth. Without a good source of precursors, drug cartels can't make enough methamphetamine to meet the addict's demand and as a result, price increases and shortages of illegal drugs have been reported in a lot of places around the globe. Kung flu even leads to the demise of some animals. Denmark is the biggest mink farm in Europe and the world, with more than 17 million minks, but maybe not for much longer. Here, minks are raised to be killed later for their fur coats, which will be used in fashion and high-end clothes. Things were going peacefully and lucratively for Danish farmers. But then, in early November, it was found out that those mings have been infected by coronavirus. What's worse, the virus has changed while inside the mings' bodies. It has mutated. A lot. It is now so distinctive that it's almost a new strain of virus. What does that mean? That means the current Kung Flu vaccines that you hear on all the news these days, Sputnik, Moderna, BioNTech and Pfizer, Novavax, will not work on this novel and different one. This is a very big and very bad news that I was talking about before. Denmark, having recognized the threat to humans as very severe, has moved to lock down all the affected regions. It also ordered all the 70 plus mains to be killed as soon as possible. By the way, that's almost three times the population of humans in Denmark itself. When this video is online, maybe most of those mains are already dead and incinerated. But chances are, the brand new virus has escaped. The world may have to deal with SARS-CoV-3. What would the disease be called then? COVID-21, Eagle Flu, Cookie Flu, Viking Flu. If that case becomes a reality, then it will be almost another year before scientists can come up with the vaccines against Viking Flu. And countries will have to maintain their desperate regulations in the hope to battle the now two kinds of viruses. I don't know how the global economy will react then, but lately, Every time there's a vaccine news, worldwide stock indices rise like the pandemic is going to end soon and heaven is near. In fact, that's far from the truth. Many scientists and health experts have pointed out that it will take time to manufacture all those vaccines, to transport them to needed areas, and it will take some more time and persuasion to vaccinate people, some of whom are dedicatedly anti vaccines it also will take a while for the population to get their immune system ramped up enough to fight the virus. So, the combined total time, at least 6 months to more than a year. So, contrary to most market analyzers, I am worried that the market responding so positively with any piece of good news is actually a bad sign. It shows that the idle money flow can't find any possibly profitable field to pour into. Thus, it has to concentrate on forex and especially securities, with nowhere else to invest. The cash holders become nervous and see every good news as a signal to spend. That can prove two things. First, the world economy is truly in shambles. Second, stock markets are saturated with too much cash. When combined those things with the volatility I mentioned before, a big enough jostle can turn into a landslide and vaporize the money very fast. As we humans are animals with instincts like the herd mentality, that downturn of securities can quickly lead to a real collapse of the economy, especially if it happens in the United States. Hence, even though I can't say anything for sure, 
But if I have to bet, I would not put my money on a quick recovery and bright future, at least in the short term and most likely even in mid term. I want to court other stocks. And winter is coming. But actually, Sansa got it better. Winter is here. Brace yourself, for the Kung Flu blizzard is going to wreak havoc at all corners of the world for at least several months ahead. Many of you might ask, so what should I do? Well, since most of my viewers are young, you are likely lacking money, but having a good health. That's it for today. In the next video, I'll talk in Vietnamese, since speaking in English is quite training. If you haven't subscribed, then when you do it, don't forget to press the bell. If you have any interesting idea for me to do, a challenge for me to overcome, or simply a question you want to ask me, then feel free to leave a comment below. I'll choose one among the most liked as an inspiration for videos in the future. This is Sun Lao Idol. See you later.